Hello, today we're going to do a quick bootstrap framework setup on Dreamweaver. Alright, so on my desktop you see I have a image folder here, contain a couple images, and then I'm going to create my root folder here, call it my site, and I'm going to drag my image folder in there. Now we can work on a Dreamweaver now. So on Dreamweaver you can go to site, new, set up your new site, my site, and select the root folder site save now go to file new select new file see you have a two framework options one is none one is bootstrap okay this is the first time we use use bootstrapped so we're going to create a new cs click create error message will pops out okay dreamweaver will automatically generate all the dependence files for you so this time just select go browse and then you see on my my size already generate a whole bunch of a uh, folder here on CSS folder. Just select this one and click OK. OK, create. Just override. Yes, you want to override. Let's take a look at this pre built layout. So, on top, you see the media query setting here. This green bar is mobile view, and then when you drag it out, become tablet, desktop. Go back to less than 767, the menu will collapse into an icon. Okay, so let's drag it out. Also, right now, I'm in a live view. If I want, I can click on split view, cold view, or next to live view. I personally prefer this because I can see what's going on behind the scene. Before we go further, please go to getbootstrap.com for more information information because I think it would be good to understand their setup is. So let's go back to our Dreamweaver, back to live on this uh, pre-built layout. So we have a navigation and then we have a heading, text and columns, columns and then simple buttons, labels and glyph, the footer too. So the best way to examine this structure here, open up your DOM panel, see the head, body, inside the body you have navigation, couple div separated by the horizontal rule. Okay, so to do a revision on tag, very simple, you just double click and then you see the light blue turn into orange and you just highlight it and type it in what you like. So another way to do is bring out your split code here and like for instance here, I just put my cursor on my brain here cursor will inside the brain so I just highlight this and just do my site okay this is how you revise text so to bring the inline image you cannot do anything because you double click and then you see all the button are gray out and just put your cursor there and you see on the code view cursor right in front of click here to select this columns go to your bootstrap components panel and then find responsive image image placement will be here so menu bar to find your picture and okay all right i want to duplicate so i can delete this just highlight it and delete it all right now i only have a one element inside this row let's take a look at the user in interface here so let me collapse this first okay so this element has a lots of class applied to it this is a preset from bootstrap and also you can add more class or id if you like and two handle on each side the solid one in the back when you roll over that you can resize column when you drag it out make the column smaller bigger in the front when you roll over it will tell you it's offset column if you drag it back which means will create a margin in the front you see a slash line which is a margin applied to it i'm going to drag it back at the bottom one is duplicate the other one is copy the duplicate will be duplicate exactly identical include all the contents that you have and the second one it will add another empty column for you i don't want that so i'm going to delete it now i can duplicate and duplicate and duplicate if i drag it out a little bit for all in one row so obviously my column is too big so i'm just gonna shrink it down All right, this is my desktop view is not so good on tablet. So on the tablet, I have to make it bigger. So I'm just side by side. And you see everything is fine now. So on the phone, become one column and tablet become two by two and four by one. To change image, you just click on the image and then from the menu. So you can change the f image here and also give a proper alternative name. 
add a link and also you can clip to to shape like for instance you click on it you'll see the preview well, i don't want to do that so another thing i want to show you is when you click on the elements and then you see the plus sign here you can add another class dot class will start with dot and then all the available class will come out for you i want is text i want to do color so i want to do actually i want to do danger so it's right there already i'm just select that text danger is red this is how you add another class if you see the slash line right in front of your elements which means you have margin apply click on this you will see you have a column medium six which means dominate half of the space and then the offset three so this is three this is at the end three so totally make up 12 there's a 12 column script okay to delete an uh, element when you select this and you can go to your DOM panel when you're going to delete that just be careful make sure you are in the right element so click on that you will see which element that you want to delete and use carefully I'm going to use this as a demonstration here and then I was is this the whole row yes in that div and then just use my keyboard delete this is just a quick tool for bootstrap all right I'll see you next time